So how do you answer a question like this? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, if this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, uh, of course, hindi naman ako animated in real life, pero I had to do this because I'm actually quite sick right now. Uh, but I didn't want to miss an opportunity to teach you something new today. At dahil Math Mondays ngayon, this problem is about math. Um, meron tayong base lesson for this, uh, yung parts of parts. So, kung hindi pa napapanood yung video from last week, ililink ko na lang din sa taas para makahabol kayo. And, uh, yun, that's it muna for now. I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung ating lecture on parts of parts with backtracking. Okay, so medyo higher level na than yung ating video from last time. If you haven't seen that yet, ililink ko na lang din sa taas. Again, very important that you see that video before jumping into this. Ito na yung word problem na marami ang naguguluhan sa inyo. I've seen this, I've seen this pop up sa aking uh, um, page, uh, mga comments, uh, messages ninyo, even sa mga Facebook groups including ours. And uh, I'll just show you how I attack this problem my way. Okay? So, ito yung sample question natin. Sabi, half of the grade 6 students are girls. One-seventh of the girls have braces. If there are 6 girls with braces, how many grade 6 students are there? So, may seem a little tricky. Actually, kasi ad algebra problem ito. Unang problema, if you're going to use algebra, you're, you're going to have to create or uh, hindi man create, but derive yung formula out of the problem. Kung nahihirapan kayo doon, mahirapan kayo mag-solve. Now, there is another way which I'm going to show you later, uh, which is basically a combination of yung techniques natin on parts of parts and yung, yung ating technique ng backtracking, which I also talked about and revamped a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen yung backtracking lesson din natin, nakalink din siya sa taas. Okay? Now, ang concept is this. Ito yung problem natin, there are two, two parts dun sa tanong. Number one, Yung girls daw ay kalahate of the students. Yun yung first clue natin. So, half of the entire student population. And yung second thing is that the number 6, which is the number of girls na may braces, yan daw ay 1 seventh ng total na girls. Okay? So, again, two parts yung ating problema. Now, if I'm going to use yung ating multiplication method, yung ating formula method for this problem, ang magiging equation niya would be this. Ang 6 is... What? 6 is 1 seventh of the girls. Okay, so 1 seventh of the girls. Now, the girls are 1 half of the students. Now, kung gusto ko malaman yung students, yung students ko magiging x. So, that would be 1 seventh times 1 half of yung students. Yan ang girls. So, kung ang magiging equation yan, 6 is equal to 1 seventh times one half times x and then you will solve for x now a lot of people already have trouble with that kasi <laughs> algebra na nga may ano ka pa may fractions ka pa now ano yung gagawin ko kung hindi ko to gustong gawin like that again you're free to do this pwede nyo to solve like that okay kung gusto niyo na mag algebra pero paano kung hindi yun yung focus natin sa video na ito Ang option number two nyo would be to use the backtracking method. Ang backtracking method natin is basically, you start from the dulo. Okay, ang dulo ay six students. Uurong ka. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang problem, ang sequence niya ay number one, girls are one half of the students, six is one seventh of the girls. Ang gagawin natin, babalik na rin natin siya ng pwesto sa backtracking method. Ang una mong iisipin is that six is one seventh of the girls. And then, pag nakuha mo yung number na yan, kung ano man yung lalabas na dami ng girls, sila ay one half ng students. Yun yung next mong isosolve. So, how do we do that? Okay? Again, first, 6 daw is one seventh of a number. Okay? So, pwede mo siya isolve yung traditional na way, which is algebra. 6 is equal to 1 over 7x. Or, yung ginagawa natin using ratio rotation, 6 is 
one seventh of a certain number. So, ibig sabihin, 6 ay yung 1. Yung whole number would be yung x. Kung hindi nyo na-gets ito, again, nas older video yan, using ratio rotation for percentages, you can use this form. So, now that I have that, I can do ratio rotation. Iikot ko lang siya. 6 divided by 1 is 6 times 7 is going to give me 42. So, ibig sabihin, 42 yung girls. Okay? So, yan yung ating ratio method. Now, again, kung you solve like this, it's going to be the same answer naman. 42 pa rin. Mas mabilis lang to in my experience. Now, now that we know na yung answer sa first part is 42 ang girls. Okay? Ginawa natin kanina. Now, I can solve for the next part. 42 daw, yung girls. 42 ay one half ng students. Okay? So, 42 ay one half. Again, using ratio rotation, I can just do this. Okay, ikot ko lang siya. 42 divided by 1 is 42 times 2 is 84. I can do that. Or kung gusto ko mag-ratio, that would be 42 is 1 half x. Okay, mumultiply ko lang siya by the reciprocal. Kabalik tala ng 1 over 2, 2 over 1. Mumultiply ko to, that would be 84 is equal to... 2 over 1 times 1 half, makakancel siya, x. 84 pa rin. So again, whether you did this or this, ang tamang sagot ay 84. So ano skills ang kailangan ninyo? Kailangan nyo ng ratio skills, kailangan nyo ng percentage skills, kasi minsan percentage yung tanong. Kailangan nyo ng uh, backtracking, so iuurong natin, and you will get to the correct answer. Again, if you don't want to use algebra. So, the best way for me to gauge kung nakuha nyo to would be for you to actually have a quick quiz. I will give you a few minutes to answer this question. Hopefully, by the end, makuha nyo yung tamang sagot kasi after your time, i-explain ko kung paano siya masolve. Okay? And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
all right, let's see how you did. So, ang question, sabi 20% of a factory's employees are female, an eighth of them. So, ang an eighth is, that is one eighth. One over eight of them are single moms. So, a quick little salute. Kaya ko yun nalagay sa mga single moms natin out there. I've had a lot of friends. I still have a lot of friends who are single moms. Salute sa inyong lahat. Um, dakila kayo. Pati mga single dads natin out there, yung mga single parents natin, you are doing a great job. Okay? Gusto ko lang kayo i-commend. Uh, lalo na yung mga students ko kasi I know how difficult it is for moms na may asawa or katuwang sa pagpapalaki ng anak na mag-aral. Kayong mga single moms na nag-aaral ngayon, naghihintay na makatulog yung mga anak ninyo bago kayo makapag-start. I just salute you, I commend you, and I really wish na makapasa kayo sa mga exam so you can get the perfect job for you guys. Alright? So, God bless sa inyo. Now, sabi, an eighth of them are single moms. If there are ten women who are single moms, how many employees does the factory have? So, again, you have two components here. Sabi, number one, ito, 20% of the factory's employees are female. And yung number two natin is one-eighth of them are single moms. Yung one-eighth na yan ay yung ten. Now, again, using yung ating technique, which is backtracking, sisimulan natin using the second part. Again, if you want to use algebra, solve using algebra, the answer would be 10 is equal to 1 eighth, okay, times 20% times x. Again, you can solve it like that, all right? Now, I just prefer this way, yung backtracking natin. Let's start with the first one. 1 eighth daw. Are, are single moms. At yung one eighth na yan ay sampo. So, para makuha ko yung whole number, again, I can use algebra or, pwede ko na lang gawing ito yung x. Bakit? Kasi yung 10 ay yung one eighth. Hinahanap natin yung kabuan or whole number niya. So, that would be like this lang. 10 divided by 1 is 10 times 8 is 80. So, ang sagot natin dito is 80. 80 ang babae sa isang factory. Ano yung 80 na yan? Yung 80 na yan is 20%. So, ibig sabihin 20% okay, of the factory ay babae or 80. Now, kung hahanapin ko yung kabuan, kasi ang sinasabi, how many employees does the factory have total, that would be 100%. So, kung gusto ko siya i-ratio, pwede ko siya i-solve like that. Okay? 20, yung 80, ano ang katapat ng 100%? Yun yung magiging x ko. So, iikot ko lang siya. 80 divided by 20 is 4 times 100. The answer would be 400. So, 400 employees ang meron ng kumpanya. Again, you can solve it using this or kung gusto nyo, pwede nyo i-algebra. So, 20% of a number times x is 80. Oh, pwede nyo i-solve like that. So, 0.2 x is equal to 80. Di-divide ko both sides by 0.2. And the answer still would be 400. Okay? Pareho lang din yan. Even if you use your calculator to check right now. So, the correct answer is 400. And I hope you got that answer correctly. So, etong mga lasting tanong, practice ang katapat niyan. So, we can scour the internet, find out more questions. If you want me to make questions then of my own, a worksheet of my own, comment yun na lang sa baba to ask for it. And I will make that sa aking website. And again, if nabitin kayo dito, I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Laika Maravilla. I post quick questions sa aking Instagram story. May function doon ang Instagram. You can answer right away. Malalaman nyo agad-agad kung tama kayo o mali. And then, that's a way for me to gauge kung kayo ay natututo o hindi. It's also something that I do on the fly kapag mababa yung mga percentage ng tumatama. I usually make explainer videos which I post here on YouTube, on Facebook, and in, on other social media platforms on Team Laika. Alright, so follow me at Laika Maravilla for more. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo na kung mag-e-exam din sila, para mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information, okay? Thanks guys for watching, and salamat sa pagpapasensya. Again, I, I don't really feel well right now, but... I just wanted to make this video for you. So hopefully, matutunan nyo pa before your next exam. Alright? Thanks, guys. And as we always say dito sa team na to, never stop learning. Aja-aja, kaya nyo yan. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now.